Hey Gemini Collective, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you all being here. I hope you're doing well. Let's get into your reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the roles if you need to. This could be past, present, or future energy I am picking up on. Your first card out is study. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So some of you are thinking about maybe a major career change or... Um, Maybe you're training right now, studying for a promotion. I'm not a promotion, but um, what do you call it? What do you call it? I don't know. Some kind of transition in your career. It could be a promotion. You may have to learn something new in order to go to this next level. Archangel Michael, you're on the right path. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. Yeah, there's some changes. What is this here? I'm trying to make this out. Is he carrying a fish? I can't tell. It looks like this little boy has a fish in his hand. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's significant. Well, fish, think about it. What they say fish swim. Well, I guess it depends on the fish upstream, right? You're moving up. You're graduate. There's something going on where you're going to the next level. We're gonna leave that alone because this is not a career and finance reading. But we're just gonna leave it there. If you know what that means, you know what it means. <laughs> yeah, that's some kind of change in your environment or something going on in your environment. Someone's access to you is being denied. This could be a Sagittarius. Someone's taking you for granted. Hmm. Some of you are in a connection. Maybe this is why we have the fish. I said swimming upstream. Some of you, this has been an uphill battle. But you have assistance now. You have Archangel Michael. But something has been, yeah, something has been a little bit rough. You know, the, the temperance card is Sagittarius energy. And that represents Archangel Michael as well. Well, depending on who you ask. Some, you know, sometimes you look up the cards and they mean different Archangels. But I'm going to stick with Archangel Michael. And it's also Earth Angel energy, meaning you're an Earth Angel. You have a very sweet nature about yourself. So people tend to take that for granted, Gemini. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius who did this to you as well. That is your opposite sign. Yeah, you got the same card that I pulled for you, I think, yesterday. It says, when their attempts to break you prove to be futile, the lies start. They'll stop at nothing, though none of it will ever work. So you got a lot of people coming against you because it says their attempts. They'll stop at nothing. It could be one, but um, no matter how many people it is, there's somebody coming against you. Some of you, this is a sibling. You have sibling rival rivalry. Rivalry. I don't know why my tongue don't work sometimes. <laughs> you can have a Leo sibling. Doesn't have to be, but somebody that you just don't see eye to eye, to, eye to eye with. You, you know, clash egos with this person. Y'all in a lot of conflict, arguments. When you see each other, y'all just don't get along. You could be spending time with your family though. That could be hard if you don't get along with the sibling, right? Your advice here is to pour into yourself. It says there's a need to rest, reflect, and adjust. Be strong for yourself. Stop trying to save the world. Mm -hmm. You are enough. Take a much-needed break. Four of Swords energy, Libra. Aquarius got a lot of energy about them taking a break. You could be connected to an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius placements. If you are connected or do have those placements, go listen to that reading because that could be very you know, significant for you. Some of you are feeling hopeless. You're feeling hopeless. I'm, I'm almost getting the energy of someone who's overburdened with work, stressed, taking on a lot at work. Maybe multiple jobs, maybe working a lot of overtime or just trying to work and study for some kind of transition at the same time. You're very optimistic, though. You're a go-getter. You can't take that away from you. You're a go-getter. You know how to live in the moment. You know how to go for what you want. You give it your best. You give it your all, all the time. You're coming out as the queen of wands. Your optimism is magnetic. So a lot of um, attention is focused on you right now. Some of you could be in the limelight, in the spotlight. You are just, you have an aura about yourself that magnetizes people. There's someone in distorted masculine energy though. Don't know if that's you or not. We'll have to look into it. We have the temperance card coming out. Again, you're turning the corner. You're getting back on your feet. Okay. Um, there's balance being restored. There's a lucky twist of fate, happen fate happening and all is going well. 
all is going well, whether you whether you know it or not. You also have Archangel Shamuel. Your third eye chakra is being activated. He who seeks God is what this is all about. Strength and courage to face adversity. Restore hope and inner peace. Yes, um, the temperance card. Self-esteem and finding lost items. You may be finding something that you lost. Could be yourself. Solutions to difficult problems. Okay, this is uh, Pisces energy, Virgo energy, and Cancer energy. The moon, the hermit, and the high priestess. So a lot of you are, I'm hearing going solo. I don't know what that means. Some of y'all could be in some kind of group or something. You're going solo. I just heard going solo. Right now, it's all about you. It says pour into you. Yeah. Because the moon and the hermit, they are nines. The moon is number 18, reduces to a nine. The hermit is the number nine in the major arcana. Nines are all about individual energy. It's all about you. It's a lot of soul searching, a lot of introspection, a lot of contemplation that goes on with the number nines. Shadow work. We have the high priestess here. That's cancer energy. Again, a lot about keeping things to yourself. It's all about you right now. Your intuition is spot on. Listen to your intuition. Trust your gut and that inner voice, that inner knowledge. Okay. We have compassion, queen of cups, strength, Leo, and temperance, Sagittarius. Again, I told y'all, y'all have a very warm nature about yourselves. But people can take advantage of that and take it for granted. Let's get some these cards and see what's going on what's family time about some of you could be going to a family reunion or something we have merit making some of you are making peace it says goodness humanness and morality you're you're taking the high road number 64 that could be significant yeah with the sibling some of you are trying to make up with your sibling maybe you know you want to do it for your parent if you know your parents are still alive you want to just for the family unit well, this could be someone coming back to you. I'm almost feeling like somebody's accepting someone's apology. Show me pour into you. Right. This is about self-esteem, self-worth, and ego, number four. So this is you knowing your worth. You have two fours because that's the four of swords. You could be saying four, 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 seven, two, two on a timer. Let's see what hopeless is about. What are you hopeless about? Fury. Number 74, offense, madness, and unpleasantness. Some of you, this is the sibling. There's a Leo in your energy that you're, you know, you don't know if they're going to accept your peace offering is what I'll say. Somebody's ego is too big to accept your peace offering. Definitely could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be. Somebody could be born in April of 74 and the number 74 is significant for some reason. Show me your optimism is magnetic. What are you magnetizing? What are you magnetizing? Oh my God. A conflict? More Leo energy. Difference, disputation, and quarrel. Number 30. So it's the fact that you're so beautiful. You're so successful. You're so handsome. Whatever. You're the star. Aquarius energy. Aries energy. You're the star. You can have Aquarius or Aries placements. Some of you, your, your personality just doesn't get along with this other person, whoever they are. Somebody could be 30 years old. Who's the distorted masculine? Who's the distorted masculine? Who is this? Somebody that you keep working hard to try to make peace with. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Cancer. We have 8 and 67. It says trust, honest, compatibility with assessment, obligation, and overwhelm. I feel like you have stressed yourselves out trying to make peace with this person. And it just hasn't worked. This person is in distorted masculine energy. Some of y'all, this is a sibling. Somebody in your environment who's taking you for granted. It doesn't have to be a sibling, but it could be a Leo. A lot of Leo energy is coming out. What are you turning the corner in? Finding your peace, getting back on your feet. We have fate in reverse. It says, coincidence, fatalism, and fortune telling number 10. This is the wheel of fortune. Now you have turned in the corner here, which is like the wheel of fortune upright, but this is in reverse. So this is what you're turning the corner on. Maybe feeling like you had a lot of chaos and upheaval going on in your life. You know, not being willing to go with the flow, not accepting things as they are, um, not accepting change, being resistant to change. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy. 
some of you, this is this relationship. Well, things were just going wrong, but they're turning around. You said you're turning the corner. Show me the sibling. What is, why is this sibling such a problem? Oh, two cards. They must be a big problem. Triumph and blind. Oh, God. It says success, victory, and achievement. Number 19, this is the sun. And then we have number nine, blind, awkward, unknown, vision problems. Gemini, this is your energy. This person, they want to keep you. They want to block you from success. And unfortunately, it's a sibling for some of you. Could be another Gemini. We have Leo energy here as well. Your successes make this person invisible. Nobody sees them because you're like the star of the family, the star of the show. Oh, Jesus. Okay, what's going on with Archangel Shamuel? He who seeks God. Bully in reverse. This is about solutions to a problem. Some of you have a sibling who's a bully. And this is turning around. It says embarrassment, gossip, and unwillingness. This person is the embarrassment of the family, maybe. They talk about you behind your back. They're unwilling to put the work in to get what you've gotten. They don't work hard like you work hard. 68 is here. That could be significant. Show me compassion. You love your, You still love your sibling. You still love this person, whomever they are. It doesn't have to be a sibling. It could be a colleague. It could be a parent. It could be a friend. Look at this compassion endorsement. It says persuasion, bribe, and temptation number 52. I feel like you've always tried to work with this person um, and tried to encourage them to let you in. You know, with this compassion energy, this person maybe has taken advantage of your kindness, used you for money as well. They're exchanging. Well, she's trying to give him money and he's resisting the advancement. He's rejecting the offer. This is what I feel. This person has been rejecting your offer. Yeah, this person is mean. Whoever you are dealing with, uh, they could have addictions. Dictatorship, domination, and reluctance with marionette. There we go with that reluctance. This person's not willing to compromise and work with you. Capricorn energy. This is the devil. Somebody's trapped in their ego. Where did we start? All the way over here. The ego, pride. Somebody's trapped in their ego, and they're a bully, and they're mean, and they like to argue with you. It doesn't have to be a sibling, but that's what it's coming out as. Y'all been fighting since y'all were children. If it's a sibling, y'all never got along. You can have another sibling as well. Maybe there are three of you. I don't know, but let's go to the tarot and see what's going on. Three messages for Gemini. Please, Spirit, three messages. Three clear messages for Gemini. Two of Wands. You're detaching. Aries energy, thinking about the future, tower, yeah, there's a lot of arguing going on, February 16th could be significant, I feel like a family reunion or something, because this can also talk about a reunion, you may be getting back with your family, spending time with your family, but I feel like a conflict is going to happen, an argument, a massive argument, and it's going to come out of nowhere, you could be like, where's this even coming from, with a Scorpio and Aries or Leo for some of you, but yeah, family time, here you are. This is Pisces energy. February 10th, February 16th could be significant. Bottom of the deck, this is you trying to heal. There's light at the end of the tunnel, y'all. Keep working hard. You're going to have to hold your energy back just a little bit. The person you're dealing with is emotionally closed off. You could have a Capricorn sibling. Some of you are on the Taurus Gemini cusp. Your heart's in the right place, but you can't change other people. But yeah, I see some explosive, like something that's going really well and then it turns explosive. And some of you may decide to detach forever from this person. All right, y'all, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.